Welcome to Trend Win Streets of Rogue. Today is November 24, 2017. Once home to peace and prosperity, the city has fallen to the hands of a ruthless and dictatorial mayor. Elected on vague promises of lower taxes and more beer, his true colors began to show immediately upon his inauguration. The mayor's first executive orders were a massive raise on taxes and a one-time confiscation of all alcoholic beverages. He stated that the confiscation was so he could throw the mother of all ragers for his constituents. But in reality, there was only, like, one keg and a bag of tortilla chips. It was super lame. He used the money and extra booze to fund a private army of goons happy to carry out his every nefarious bidding. Before long, the city had fallen to a state of chaos. But there is still hope. A secretive organization known only as The Resistance has been formed to fight back against the mayor's tyrannical leadership. And that is where our tale begins. It is time to embark on your journey into the Streets of Rogue. So, you want to join the resistance, eh? Well, there's something you should know. Our stanzas for entry are extremely high. I'd offer words of encouragement, but I seriously doubt you're going to get very far. Your first task is to move around. Use WSAD. Do you think you can handle this? Holy crap, you did it. Now open that door by pressing the interact button E. No way, no way. This is the farthest anyone's getting in a long time. I left a little something for you in that chest. Can you figure out what to do next? Wow! Oh my god! But there's no way that you could possibly figure out what to do with that thing. Holy crap! Holy, holy crap! <laughs> No, he spontaneously exploded. I am so sorry you had to see that. On the plus side, you must be doing pretty well so far for him to get that excited. He had a lot of emotional problems. Anyways, no use moping around. I'll take over from here. I'm teleporting you some money. Use it to buy a hacking tool from our staff shopkeeper. What are you buying? Access your inventory by pressing Q. Then right click the hacking tool to select it and left click the computer. That would be rude. I'm going to send you on a little trial mission. To see what it is, press tab. Someone is on guard duty in the building past this fence. To see more info on him, hold space. Hostel. Won't be too happy to see you. And by the way, if someone's name is yellow, it means they own the property. I'm teleporting you a wall bypasser. Try using it from your toolbar. Press the number key that corresponds to its slot. Yeah, not quite. Here's another one. Warps you approximately 32 pixels in the direction you're facing. Typically, a red door means people don't want you in there. Meet our staff bouncer. He'll be playing the part of bad guy, but he's been instructed not to fight back under any circumstances. Hello, nice to make your acquaintance. 
rookie, feel free to wheel on him as hard as you can. He's a big guy. He can take it. Um, excuse me, but I don't recall agreeing to this. When you signed your resistance paperwork, perhaps you'll recall section 7C, which states members are subject to any and all of the resistance leader's illogical, dangerous, and or sadistic whims. Well, I would have read that more carefully, but to be honest, it was kind of impossible. Did you guys really need to write the entire document in braille? Yes, we're making efforts to be more inclusive and diverse. Look, you have no right to allow some random guy off the street to take shots at me for the sake of some... What did you call it? Tutorial? We can do whatever we want to you. We're the ones in charge. You know, this is the same sort of ridiculous authoritarian crap that the mayor pulls. Stop being a wimp, you'll be fine. We gave you that sweet hard hat, remember? Fair enough. You can punch by clicking the left mouse button in the direction of this lovable brute. Now grab that weapon and give him a good whack. Grab that tranquilizer gun and cycle to it using the mouse wheel. Use the mouse to aim and shoot. Put a few darts in them. Nice try, but I wore my protective thermal underwear today. Aw, sleeping like a baby. By the way, do you see that blue meter at the top of your screen? You'll get skill points for things like murdering and lockpicking. Now walk through that red sensor. It's totally safe and not harmful at all. Tee. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. That never gets old. I hope you're okay. Take this bacon cheeseburger. You can quick use your health items by pressing F. Here's something you can use to deal with the lasers a little more safely. Just use it like you did the other weapons. Oh, okay, I deserve that. I'm going to give you a really cool special ability that you can use to <laughs> open this door. To use it, press the right mouse button. <laughs> the special ability that I gave you was Cry Profusely. I mean, that's not very useful at all, is it? Check it out on your stat screen. Press R. Cry Profusely causes you to cry like a little baby. Serves no purpose except to embarrass you. Okay, okay, but seriously, here's a key. Oh, whoops. I just accidentally teleported it to the elevator where you first came in. Open your mission screen with tab, then click on the elevator icon to teleport there. Once you grab the key, you can quick teleport by pressing left control. Under normal circumstances, this will teleport you to important locations. Not cool, seriously, not cool. Just to be clear, while the Rissus normally condones achieving your goals through any means necessary, violence included, he was a pretty cool guy and frankly we're low on shopkeepers. Now, destroy that generator to complete your mission.
Aw, you knew to get out of the way. You're no fun. Anyway, sorry for all the hazing. You're a pretty tough cookie. We only lost one person during this exercise. That's a new record. I guess you can join the resistance now. Congratulations. Speak to the doctor when you get in. We'll see about getting you another bacon cheeseburger. Step into the elevator to come join us in our home base. Achievement unlocked. Didn't skip the tutorial. All right, let's make sure that every that uh, let's give me a minute to make sure the recording's going okay. I'm not going back down. So, I have a few other things to let you know before we send you out on the suicide mission. Uh, completely achievable mission of taking down the mayor. First, since you're new to the city, you should know that it's built in vertical layers, like a lasagna. Slums at the bottom are the industrial area, then the full outdoor part, downtown and uptown at the top. The only way to get from one level to the next is through elevators. Ah, oh, my chin just popped doing his voice. Second, in addition to your primary mission, we'll need you to do a bunch of other tasks for us. They'll be highlighted on your map, like that generator you just blew up. You'll need to finish your missions on a floor before you can travel to the next one. Third, resistance leaders like myself will help you out by sending you rewards for completing these missions. But that's about all we can do for you. We're less doers and more idea men. For example, it was my idea to send you out on this mission. So do me proud because there might be a promotion in it. For me. Fourth, as you know, the mayor has banned chicken nuggets due to the fact that they once caused him a mild tummy ache. Chicken nuggets have since become a rare and precious commodity. If you can scrounge up some chicken nuggets, we can trade them for things that can help you out. The doctor, thief, and soldier can brief you a bit more on the nugget situation. Or if you want to head into the city, the elevator's to your north. Good luck to you, young rogue. Looks like the recording's fine. Uh, this is just something that I get concerned about because I had mistakes with Omni Link and again with Shadow of War. Um, Shadow of War, when it would trigger the movie icon, I think it loaded a different application or something. So then it wasn't actually recording properly. Omni Link, I have no idea what happened with that one. I don't have any uh, nuggets, I guess. I don't really need mods. Uh, that don't. Yeah, alright. I guess let's just get started. Let's see here. Um, uh, that's a lot of characters. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these. So I won't read this until I maybe play that character. So let's take a look at the requirements first, and then try to figure out what I'd like to achieve on my first run. I need to spend 1500 bucks, kill 10 gangsters, drink 10 beverages, poison 5 systems, free from a cage, bribe cops, destroy gravestones, complete slums with fists, complete a floor without being caught or killing anyone, kill someone with a banana peel, Complete any floor with a destruction level of 75. Complete any floor with five non-custom characters. Okay, that's assuming these, okay. Find 500 bucks in a single game. Murder a ghost. Complete any floor with 20 killed. Purchase four slaves. Complete slums with a vampire. Okay. Um, all right. So most of it's like kill things and, 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 buy things. The doctor. Let's see here. Can't use weapons. Can chloroform. Laptop. Tech expert. Thief. Steal. Enemies have trouble aiming. But the owners want me to leave. Uh, Blods will attack on sight. Okay, that's these red guys. Health regenerates, okay. Hmm. 
think I'll do. I think I'll go soldier. All right, I guess I'm ready to begin. Okay, so this will be a playthrough where I use the soldier. The soldier aspires to fight for the city. Unfortunately, there are no wars going on right now, so why not create one? That's where the resistance comes in. Rather than sitting around twiddling their thumbs, the soldier will now have the opportunity to fight the good fight, and maybe even commit a few atrocities in the process. Hooah! I have a three out of four endurance, strength, four out of four accuracy, two out of four speed. I gradually regenerate when health is below 20. I start with a machine gun, grenades, door detonators, landmines, a kill M immunizer, and a combat helmet. Slums 1, go. Okay, I have to hold space bar to get names and stuff. Too bad it's not an actual, actually toggle. I, like I, I, that would mean. I wonder if I can settings control. This game features four-player local co-op as well as online. I don't know how much of it's mix and match. Like, could you have like three local and uh, one online? I don't have I don't support have these features I assume, but just in case I'm turning them off, not to prevent issues. Kill Ammunizer. As a reward for killing people, a random gun of yours will receive ammunition to ensure that the cycle of violence continues. I have no way to open it. Oh, okay. No one be bluffing with the MacGuffin Muffin. Mission complete. I would get a boombox. Alerted no one, plus 100. Killed no- I, I- I guess I didn't directly kill anyone.
Yeah, I get, okay. Huh. Alright, so I have to operate them and I get, um... Attached any gun- oh, that's nice. Silencer. Let's put that on. Found cool stuff. Plus one hundred. Complete all your mission objectives, proceed to the next floor of the city, or fail them if that's your thing. Either way is good. No guns used, plus 200. Achieving a lot, adapting to city life. Oh, yeah, okay, so I have to poison those in order to get the one of the characters. And I guess that's what I poison them with.
Mission complete. Cardboard box. Okay, I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> See if this works. I know. I, I'm sorry. I don't really say a whole lot during a, when I play. I I'm what I'm thinking. Okay. Well, I don't, um, I'll use a little bit of money right there. <laughs> okay.
Alright, that seems simple enough. If you break the law, can you do it in front of me? Makes my job easier. Damage 11. Yeah, I'll take that. Base damage 11. Alright. Hold on, get back here. Wait, it's a, it's a swarmer. Okay. Oh, it's done, I think. Um, let's teleport. It's a really nice feature. Is there anything in here? Doesn't look like there's anything in here that I would want. I do get experience for killing people, though. Hold on, AFK for a second. What was I doing? Um, I need to do this. I need to retrieve blueprints from a cop. Okay. Alright, so I should try to collect all these uh, chests and stuff, it looks like. I guess I should- I guess I didn't really do a good job looting or doing anything in the first area. But I am just learning the game. Oh cool, so it repairs my durability to pick up other items of the same kind.
Okay, so people with yellow are the ones that attack me back. Or, uh, the ones that are stationed inside a building. It doesn't look like there's anything in here except the goodie dispenser, however. He does have a pistol, but there are two of them. Okay, I guess yeah, yeah, all right. I guess it makes sense. Can you get can you attack the cop? He's being real careful. <laughs> he broke it himself, and I still get the achievement luck vampire. Can't teleport with danger nearby. Okay. Hey, what's silence? I don't know why you woke up. I literally picked a machine gun because I had a silencer on it. Is it still silenced? Yeah. And I don't think I can go on without doing that mission, so I... I... Well, I did just get the bulletproof vest. I suppose this is what it's for now.
crap. That was not the way I intended it to turn out. The other cop is badly hurt. If I can finish him off, I should get some XP and some money. Or, there he is. Oh, that works, thanks. I didn't mean to say money, but I did get money. I meant to say ammo. Well, I didn't get very many awards for that time. I get a one ton destruction plus something. I'm wrestling one pretty slow. Either dead or restless, it's zombie time. Alright. Um, give me a minute. Hold on. Yeah, I know I don't really say a whole lot. I, I hope that's like a nice thing for some people. I like that time slows down when I'm in these menus. Only 10 bucks? I think I'd rather find out what these syringes do. Oh, that, I didn't I realize that was a cop zombie. He totally ignored me. That one, however. Before you stick that syringe in your arm, perhaps you should find out what's in it. Now you can. Just combine it with a syringe. Slow and confused. Okay. That scene didn't seem hard for him at all. Invisible. Ah, there we go. I need something good. I mean, in terms of syringe. I, I, I imagine a bulletproof vest I have is pretty good.
Well, then it's a really good thing I found that syringe. How durable are those things? Let's find out. I mean, I saw, I saw. Well, they're not that bad. They just overwhelm me at that moment. I guess everybody's getting up as a zombie too, which doesn't help. That's good for me because I'm getting all this loot. Really? I got 50 XP for that. Alright. I don't know if I get any ammo. Why am I not getting ammo? Do I have to- Oh, I have to kill him with a gun, don't I? Well, maybe not. Maybe I don't get it for zombies. So at 25. Why can't I pick up the boombox? Maybe it's not... I don't know. Like, wh why would I want to do that? Oh, I guess if I wanted the zombies to win, I suppose. Looks like there's a... I can't tell, but I'm not sure. And you might be able to stand right under it. You can in, like, things like, um, System Shock. Huh. Okay. You didn't see anything. see their health. That'd be nice if I could see their health so I could know if I should kill them for some ammo or not. Oh, 
21 bucks, huh? To refill my pistol. 67 to refill my mis machine gun. If I have two of these, will I refill twice as fast? I doubt it. I should have punched him. I assume people that stand up as zombies don't have new items, so if he started as a zombie, he probably had items. That's a lot. Okay, I got machine gun for that. Oh, I bet I bet that was like an original zombie. That's probably why. Yeah, I'm not getting it for all of them. He faked me out. No, well, I think the zombie threat is over. I'll just uh, take my time looting everything else. Seems to be healing them.
I see little tiles there. Might not be a whole lot I can do except dispatch him. He's got a gun though, so I want to be quick about this. Do I have anything else? Um, not really. I didn't think the other guy... I, I, I guess I should have thought about it. Oh wait, I, oh okay, so I guess I can't teleport. Got a lot of gear. Uh, most of it seems to be food and drugs. <laughs> I don't know what kind of message that sends about me. Alright, well, let's go on to the next area. Character unlocked, Cannibal. Achievement unlocked Savior of the Slums. Why? Yeah, boy, you leveled up. Okay, uh, let's see here. Starting to collect some money now. And it's probably time for me to start thinking about buying some things.